Hello everybody and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the steel segment here at Trimble. And today I want to introduce the new visualization settings for point clouds that's available in Tecla Structures version 2020. In a previous video I show how to attach the point cloud and make sure that it's aligned to your model, so I'll refer you to that if that's of interest. In this video I'll just focus on the visualization settings. I'll show two examples. First is a concrete model. The second will be a steel model and how the visualization settings can help in those workflows. In this particular model that we're looking at right now, this is the design model. The concrete has now been poured out on site and we went into the scan. And now what I can do is I can bring in that point cloud to view it in relation to my model. So to begin, I'll just go ahead and toggle that on. You can see that the point cloud will now show up and I can begin to view and interact with that in any way. So if we take a look um, across as we pan over here, in previous versions as you would zoom in, sometimes these point clouds would get really pixelated and you would lose a lot of clarity as you can see here. So here very faintly you can see that we have some anchor bolts or embeds that could be on your project that are sticking up. If you click on the visualization settings, you can see that we've added in point size and density which will improve the clarity as you zoom in. So if you want to beef up the density, you can do that. We can then also adjust the size. And you can see now that it's much easier to view the point cloud as before. Typically, you'd get something like that. So you can play with those to adjust them as needed uh, to give you more visibility within your project. The other thing that we've added is this new clashes option. What this allows you to do is to highlight a native model object and it will then colorize the point cloud in relation to the proximity of that model object defined by certain tolerances. So to show you what I mean by that, let's go ahead and switch this to a plan view. And I'll zoom into the top corner of this and I'll come in and adjust the size and the density here so we can see this a little more clear. But here, this is the design model where we had the edge of slab. And then you can see this line up here, that's where it was actually poured out on site. So if I want to measure what that distance is, I can come in and just snap to the edge of the slab, put in my measurement there, so it's about 5 and 3 sixteenths. And now what I can do is I can turn on the clashes and be able to colorize this information. So if I select that object, it will then colorize the point cloud to show me how far away the point cloud is from that model object. So you can see over here on the right hand side, I can control the colors. I can define the values for my tolerances. And since this exceeds the four inches, that's why it's showing up in red here. And if I rotate this model around, we can see it e even more clearly here within 3D. So if I switch this, you can see that we have that uh, about five inch gap there all the way down. So if I want to adjust my model, the colorization will update in real time. So if I go back and click on this object, we're using direct modification. I can just click and drag this up and I'll just drag it up just the five inches so we can see again how these tolerances work. And now you can see that those colors have updated. And if I rotate this around, you can see now that it's then colorized in blue because we're within that half inch tolerance as defined here. If I zoom out, you can see further on down that line. So with this classes option, it allows you to get a more visual depiction of what's going on between the model and the point cloud. So let me open up a different model to show another example of this. So here I have a bunch of stair towers. We went out and did the scan of the existing structure. And then a lot of this information is going to tie in to that existing structure. So I can come over here and I can turn on the point cloud that we did at this 12th floor. And then let's say that we want to zoom in and make sure that we don't have any issues with the existing structure and the stairs that we're putting in. One of the nice things about this is it allows you to just isolate individual members and see how that interacts with the point cloud. So what I've done is I've created a view just of that stair stringer. You can see there my work area and I can spin that around. And let's say that we want to make sure that this stair is sitting right on the finished floor. So if I click into this view, I can come in and turn on my point cloud here. And you can see that it's just going to bring in that little sliver of the point cloud that fits within my work area. That's because I have the show inside work area only option turned on. If I were to turn that option off and then make that point cloud visible, 
you can see how it's just going to turn on the point cloud the entire thing throughout this view. So if I turn that back off and then check that option again and turn it back on, you can see that it's only going to show me the portion of the point cloud inside my work area. And now I can just highlight my stringer here, turn on my clashes, and then I can see how that will then be colorized based upon my tolerances. So I can see as I zoom in here that that stringer is sitting right on that finished floor. And then you can see the tolerances as they expand out the distance from the stair stringer. So that's a way to be able to visually inspect how the model relates to the point cloud using these new visualization settings within Tecla Structures version 2020. So as always, we invite you to try this out, send us any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoy this new development.